Hi, welcome. Unfortunately, the microphone in this video was off, so I'm doing a voiceover. I hope you don't mind too much. So today I have a quick back routine for you. We'll be moving through five exercises, doing about 12 to 20 repetitions of each. So if you are ready, let's meet on all fours on the mat here. For a quick warm-up, come to all fours. On your exhale, you'll curve your back. On your inhale, you straighten. Two more times. Exhale, curve. Inhale, straighten or arch. Exhale, curve. Inhale, straighten. Tuck your toes, draw your navel to your spine and hover your knees off the mat. Hold. And come down to the mat again. Let's repeat. Exhale, curve. Inhale, straighten. Two more times. Tuck your toes under now. And on your exhale, navel to spine. Pull your knees off the floor and hold. And come back down for the last round. Exhale, curve. Inhale, arch. Twice more. Last one. Tuck your toes. And hover those knees. Then walk out to a high plank. Push up and back to a triangle pose. Then roll through your spine to come back to plank. Five more. Push up and back. And roll through. So make sure to make a beautiful wave with your back. So that you are really warming up all those tiny little muscles. Let's do only two more. And last one now. And then release your knees back to the mat. We'll make five circles in one direction. Nice and slow. Nice and juicy circles. Filling in all those corners. <laughs> and change direction and keep your breath nice and deep and soft as we will be on our bellies for most of this class <laughs> so it will be a bit hard to breathe sometimes all right this is your last one then make your way down onto the mat rest your forehead on the back of your hands glue your legs together lift your chest up and then lift even higher elbows your way. Hands back in front of you and come back down onto the mat. So you lift up, then lift higher as your elbows touch your waist, then come back to the middle and then all the way down. You're lifting kind of in two notches. All right, you have 12 more repetitions of this. Make sure to press your hips into the floor and straighten through your legs. You're lifting your shins off the floor, just pressing the front of your feet into the floor. Lots of things to think about here. You have six left, you're halfway through. And let's go for the last two reps. And one more. All right, beautiful. Feet to the corners of the mat and wide V position with your arms. Lift opposite arm and leg and down. Opposite arm and leg up and down. Keep going. Make sure you're straightening through your elbows and your knees so you can feel the connection running from the tips of your fingers to your tippy toes. Let's go for two more on each side. Last one on each side. And then narrow your position, lift everything off the floor and just back your arms and your legs, going for a little swim. So we're doing the faster version of what we just did, working on stability in the center of our body. 
a few more seconds then find the floor with your legs but keep your chest hovering reach back with your right arm come back to center reach back with your left arm back to center reach back behind you as you lift your chest clap your hands if you can and then come back to a hover let's go five more of this still reach back as far as you can using your upper body as well so you can feel your crunching at the side and kind of curving your spine to the side that's fine that's what we want to be doing so it's getting pretty hard <laughs> remember to breathe and push your legs into the ground only two more repetitions last one make it your best one as you reach back one last time then come all the way down to the floor but not to rest <laughs> fold your hands behind your back lift your chest off the floor then lift your legs off the floor legs down and chest down all right let's go lift up your chest up your legs legs down chest down lift your chest and legs legs down chest down keep going so you can imagine someone pulling you by the arms so you get that beautiful opening of the shoulders and the chest and also make sure that you're pointing your feet and you're really stretching through those legs and guess what you're already halfway only six more repetitions good job Let's go for three and two. Last one and surprise, we'll hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, keep breathing, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Push yourself up and back off the floor. You'll swing your legs in front of you and then reach back we'll come to a reverse plank as our final exercise so push your hips up if you can you'll straighten your legs it's gonna make it much tougher you'll glue your legs together glue your shoulder blades together lift up through your chest through your hips and let's breathe and stay here so we have about 20 30 seconds here make sure you're thinking happy thoughts Pushing those hips off, keeping that breath moving, trying to stand still, making a straight line from the top of your head to your tippy toes. Beautiful, we're almost there. Three, two, one, and relax. Good job, you guys. Swing those legs back again and come to a child's pose, resting your forehead on the mat and having some beautiful deep breaths here, sending that breath into the lower back just allowing the back to curve over our legs and relax lean over to your right side and you'll extend your arms to the left corners of the mat so you get a beautiful stretch through the side and curving your spine sideways and then make your way to the other side leaning on to the left reaching your arms to the right corner of the mat and let's find center again roll up through your spine to seated ah good job i hope you enjoyed this quick class please do subscribe to my channel check out my other classes and until next time bless you ciao